Yo, this is BJ Gador with Men's Health, and here is your cook and chisel Saturday workout, and that means we're building the back, the biceps, the grip, and the glutes and hams. Here are your four moves to do just that. The first 20 minute block of your workout here will be 10 minutes of chin ups and 10 minutes of hangs. For the chin ups, take whatever rep total you can do once. So if it's 10 reps all out one time, do half of that. So that'll be five reps. If you can only do five total reps, do two or three reps, and we're doing that every minute on the minute for 10 straight minutes. To do the chin up, shoulder width grip, underhand, block the feet together, pull the shoulders down, squeeze the legs together, ribs and shoulders on, abs tight, glutes tight. You're gonna pull up, elbows to the rib cage, pause for a count, lower in control. Once you get your rep total, you'll rest for remainder of that minute, do that for 10 straight minutes. If you can't do chin ups in a gym setting, use an assisted pull up machine or take a band, wrap it around that bar, secure it on your knee, or if you want more assistance, all the way down to the foot level. And what that's gonna help you do is pull you up to the top position so you can get involved with this workout in a real way. The next 10 minutes, we're just gonna do hangs now with an overhand grip. So you can do this a couple ways. One, you can just hang for as long as you can, take a brief five to 10 second rest, shake it out, then get back in when you can and repeat that process for 10 straight minutes or hold for 30 seconds and then rest for 30 seconds. Do that for 10 straight minutes and from session to session, you add a second of hanging and take away a second of rest for a progressive overload that'll increase your grip strength, make you a real deal cliffhanger, but also build the back and the shoulders in a serious way. Let's go on to exercise number two. So now we're gonna start cooking those glutes and hamstrings in a serious way with the one leg foot elevated hip thrust. Take a box or bench and place the middle of your foot onto it, tuck the opposite knee to the chest, place your hands on the floor, abs crunch tight, and then just push through the middle of that foot, get full extension so there's a straight line from the knee to the shoulder, and then come down and control. You're gonna get 10 reps on this side, rest the remainder of that minute, and then switch sides the next minute and do the same thing. We're going 10 straight minutes, you get five sets per side of 10 reps in that 10 minute time frame. From session to session, add a rep per minute on each leg to keep the gains coming. Let's go on to the next movement. Let's bump up those biceps with 10 minutes of tempo curls. We're gonna go 60 seconds of work, 60 seconds of rest for five total rounds, and then each round we will emphasize a different training tempo to get something a little bit different out of those biceps. In round one, we're going with a three second lowering. So an eccentric emphasis, I like to block the feet together to create more tension and stability through the whole system. So I'm gonna curl up with a nice twist and then take three seconds to come down and repeat that for 60 seconds, then rest for the same amount of time. The next round, we emphasize the isometric. So I'm gonna come all the way up and then I'm gonna come all the way to just that halfway point where I'm at 90 degree angles in the arms, hold that for three seconds, then finish and lower and then repeat that process for 60 seconds. Again, three seconds right there with those arms bent at 90 degrees. In round three, we take three seconds to raise the weight, which makes it feel twice as heavy. So I'm coming up one, two, three, lower and repeat. Round four, continuous two seconds up, two seconds down without fully coming all the way down. Keep a slight bend at the bottom and without holding or resting at the top. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, the pump will be epic. Finally, we go max ISO. Get those guns right here. We're gonna hold for up to 60 seconds. If you have struggling issues with it, you can come down and rest, get back up when you can. But the goal is to get a full minute here, locked in tight. Not only will this help you build some serious arms, but it'll help you get better at pull-ups and chin-ups, which is always a good thing. Let's go to our finisher. Nothing makes you feel like more of a man than picking something heavy off the ground and carrying it for distance. And that's what we're doing right now with 10 minutes of farmer's walks. Grab a pair of dumbbells and keep the weights away from your sides. Don't cheat and let it rest here. Keep it away from the body, pull the shoulders back, get the ribs and shoulders down, keep the glutes tight, and keep your knees soft. And we're just gonna walk forwards and backwards. You don't have the space. You can just make it a couple steps forward and back, or you can even just hold the weights at your side. If the weights are not challenging enough, you don't have access to heavier weights, I can either hold it here in the rack position, or I can go overhead and really challenge my shoulder stability without hyperextending my lower back. The other option is I can do one minute on the right side, carry, walk back and forth, and then the next minute just switch sides and keep going without letting the weight twist or turn me away. So you've got some options. Either just carry it for as long as you can and then take that five to 20 second rest when you need it and repeat, 
for 10 straight minutes or give yourself a real structure to it where you do 30 seconds of carries, rest for 30 seconds, then you add a second of work and take away a second of rest each session because it's that progressive overload that really brings out true strength and muscle gain. Do it today and then if you want, add 20 to 30 minutes of cardio on top of this, give you a nice little cherry on top of that workout. We'll see you next time.